Hi everybody, this is Steve from Boston. Welcome to the introduction video for 3Body Technologies' new product, Cabinetron. It's a guitar IR loader which integrates IR management, loading and editing all together, and you can find pretty much all the functions you'd expect from an IR loader in this product. Alright, I've got a project here with two stereo guitar tracks and a bass track. Let's look at one of the guitar groups first. I'll bypass the Cabinetron first to see how this guitar sounds. Okay, that sounds a little bit strange. That's because I recorded it with only a preamp and pedals, and I did not use a cabinet. Let's turn on Cabinetron. Okay, let me hear the first IR. Well, it sounds pretty good, but I'd say I still want to tune it a little bit. Let's have a look at this mutation knob first. In this knob, Cabinetron provides 31 variations that could be applied to any IR, which means that we can get 31 different IRs out of the original IR. Okay, I'll say I like this one better. It sounds pretty bitey, and also sounds a bit fizz. Let's have a look to the right then. Cabinetron has this smooth knob. It can smooth out the fuzzy components of the IR spectrum. Let's see how it works. All right, it does sound smoothed. Besides that, Cabinetron offers an EQ that is modeled from physical guitar speaker impedance. So it sounds like a real guitar speaker when you adjust it. We can make up some highs. And we can add a little more low frequency too. Good. Let's load another IR. In Cabinetron, there's an IR browser where you can find abundant IRs provided by 3Body Technology. And you can also add the path of your favorite IRs here. By the way, you can also drop an IR file to one of the 8 slots to load an IR. Here's my personal collection. Let's try some. I like this one the most from all these IRs. We can apply some variations to this IR as well, just like we did to the last one. I like this scoop, it sounds tight. You can load up to 8 IRs into Cabinetron. 8 is too much for me, 4 is enough. I want to hear what these 4 IRs sound like when they're loaded together. Okay, I caught some phase issues here. That's because the IRs may have delay. And when we mix these IRs with different delays, we will hear their phases canceling each other out. Cabinetron has a function to align phases of loaded IRs automatically. Just click on the Auto Phase Align button. We can see that these IRs are aligned. Let's listen to it again. Sounds good to me. Next, I want to adjust the volume balance of these IRs. We can drag this ball in mixer panel to set how much of each of the four IRs we want. Let's see how it works. All right, I'm going to put the ball here. If you want to load more IRs, you can click here to do that. But I'm good with four IRs. Okay, so these are the IR loading, editing, and mixing functions in Cabinetron. 
Let's now look at another fantastic function provided by Cabinetron, the EQ. This EQ is quite something. It's a simplified version of the famous Kirchhoff EQ from Three Body Technology. It gives you almost every function you'll need in an EQ. But I'll show you something else. The tone matching. It can optimize your tone further. We have two windows here, a reference window and an input window. Input is what you recorded, and this window will analyze its spectrum. And this reference is the target tone you want to achieve, also represented as a spectrum. You can record some reference by yourself and save it, or you can just select a reference from here. You can see I've collected a ton of references, which are all extracted from professional records. Three-body technology provides abundant reference presets as well. And you can also put your own reference tone here by either clicking on the capture button to record a track or dropping a WAV file directly into the window. I'll select from one of my collections for now. Don't know which one sounds good actually, so let me just randomly pick one. After all, I still prefer this classic metal sound like V-shaped spectrum. Now the tone is pretty complete. I can adjust the high and low frequency range that I want to match. For this song, I like my tone's low frequency, and I don't like the low frequency in the reference, so I can have it match the high frequency only. I can also adjust the smoothness of the matched result here. And for this song, I think an outline of the spectrum is enough. Oh, there's depth here, too, where I can set whether I want to completely match the reference, or I just want a little bit of its tendency. Let's listen to it first. Okay, I think 50% is enough. I can have the taste of my tone and the reference tone at the same time. And here comes the best function for me. In Cabinetron, I can export my IR with all the variations I made as a single WAV file. And I can then use the exported IRs in my hardware for my live shows. Just click on the export button and I can save my IR to a WAV file. Okay, that's all for this guitar group. Let's go back to the other guitar group. This group is dominated by mid-frequency. Okay, we can listen to it first. We can adjust this fret knob a little bit. Fret is a recording technique that mixes the sounds from two 45-degree angled microphones. I think now the guitar sounds more punchy. But now I want to move the microphone a bit further from the cabinet, and I also want to move it horizontally a little. Let's see how it works. You can hear that the microphone's position has moved. I am pretty comfortable with this tone. Same as before, I'll tune the EQ and tone matching a bit. I really like the tight tone from this reference. Now the two groups should sound quite good. Okay, let's go to bass now. For this song, I don't want to add a cabinet on the bass track, so I just use tone matching only. Let's listen to it first. Listen to this dangle dangle sound. Pretty metal, right? All right, now let's listen to the complete song. <laughs> 